from San Francisco, California. We're live at Oracle Park, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the San Francisco Giants. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Michael Conforto. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today on the hill, Blake Snell. What's the scouting report on him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Cattell Marte, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Pitch misses Ball. inside. And now 2-0. That one lifted to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, yeah. you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Next ah. offer is in for a strike. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do it all. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Here's Guriel. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Way high with that one. One and oh. Two outs. And there's a strike. Check swing, no appeal. Two outs, base is empty. And another ball. Three, two. And they'll do it again. Here comes a 3-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And now the lefty. Swing and a foul ball. At the plate, they'll do it again. Grinding AB right here, about to see pitch number 10. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Nothing doing for Arizona. Now it's the Giants' turn, no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. here at Oracle Park and on the mound here today Zach Gallen what do you look for here 
Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Austin Slater stands in. For the Giants. One of the things amazing with Zach, think about the players he's been traded with and for. In December of 17, he and Sandy Alcantara were dealt to Miami from the Cardinals for Marcel Ozuna. Then ultimately in July of 19, he went to Arizona for Jazz Chisholm. Next that offering missed, is down low. Down it away. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Just missed. Pretty smart not to serve Rumble, something up okay. for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. At the belt and fires. That's the ball. Foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch turned on, but foul wide of third. Man at second. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So here's Wade now. And ball one. Later, the runner at second with one away. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. Fastball in for a strike. One and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And there's the ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. and misses struck him out pulled the string on the changeup so back-to-back -back strikeouts now and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double yeah boogie and you just don't want to get careless here if you've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double as you mentioned and just got to execute your pitches and it's a non-issue 
Jorge Soler up at the plate. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. Righty delivers. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs, and one in scoring position. That one is absolutely belted. McCarthy ranging back, hauls it in on the warning track. Giants come up empty in the first, onto the second from Oracle Park, and there's no score on the show. here in San Francisco and now it's Christian Walker Christian Walker Snell back to work that one misses ball one That's down oh. and in. Two Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. One. Strike one. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has Two a one. reputation for being Fergalicious. Yes, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And Jack Peterson stands in. Fought off foul. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Not one close one. with that one. And the count is one and one. <laughs> Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And one out now. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him to K. Now it's Chase Peterson. First pitch, not close. Just no, missed. Down, Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Fouled off. He was late. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that's down a base hit. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. First and second, one out. Now up next for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. And that's outside. And one and one. there at the knees. Two on, one out. That's the ball. Way to lay off that pitch Two down. And here it comes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Wouldn't Ball chase count. that time. Blaze Alexander up next. And a ground ball to first. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. A couple of singles back to back. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. At the play, Blaze Alexander. Golden opportunity right here. Up the middle, base hit, one run is in. Now the second run is in. It's 2-0. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. And took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Runners at the corners here, one away. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. That Nine one five. finds the zone. It's 0-1. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. McCarthy at third. Alexander at first. One gone. Inside one almost got him. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Got him looking. Two gone now. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Marte up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Wow. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. That's off the mark. Now 2-0. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. In the air, right field. Soler gets under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Giants nothing. And welcome back to the Leading ballpark. The we shot. head to the bottom of the second. The now it's Matt baseman. Chapman. Matt Chapman. The wind of the pitch. That one That's outside. And it's 1-0. Oh.
In the air, center field. Carroll moving under it. Makes the catch for the out. One down. Batting good. No left field. The batter will be Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. There's the strike. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's One, mind two. as to the conviction in the call. Base is empty one away. Bottom half of inning number two. And no, another that's ball. Outside. Ball. Conforto lifts one in the air, right field. McCarthy going back on this one. And it's off the top of the wall. Round second, digging for third. The relay. And the throws off line, safe at third. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. So one gone with a runner at third. Tyro Estrada to the plate. There's the strike. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Next pitch misses. And a count one, one and two. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Fights that one away, still one and two. Run around at third, one gone. One, two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. So here's Murphy now. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, Runner at third. Two away. Late swing. Fouled off. Next no pitch is out. outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Not two, even two. close there. The count now two and two. Two outs. That one just misses. And that's ball three. Tyler Fitzgerald in the on deck circle. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam.
And we're back. Now the number two hitter, Corbin Carroll. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these D-backs do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. And they've been able to push a couple of runs across the score as well. The 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The lefty fires. Pitch misses outside. Now one and two. It's still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that yeah. high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. In the air, left side. Conforto right there to make the grab. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Christian Walker will hit next. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Pitch is in the dirt. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. He won't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fouls it off, still one and two. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Got it by him for the K. And the Diamondbacks down in order as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. As we go to the last of the third. And now the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. And the pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Digging in, Austin Slater. And that nope. misses oh. off the outside edge. One oh. With the tying run at the plate, here in the last half of the third. And that one fouled off. Tying run at the plate. No and a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. And the right hander deals. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Wilmer Flores on. waits on deck. Nobody out. Runner first. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. And there's ball four. 
Face knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. So digging in, Wilmer Flores went down on strikes his first time through. Fitzgerald over at second. Slater at first with no outs. Next pitch One, misses two. way outside. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. So the tying run at second. Hank. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that drops in for a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Just missed. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Got him swinging. The right fielder. And now the right fielder, Jorge Soler. He's all for one. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. That's outside. And that is ball one. That's a little bit low. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye in that spot. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Two on, two outs. On the outside corner, and it's a full count. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Bows it back with two strikes. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Gets a piece and stays alive. Side, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Two outs. Bases are full. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Ball one oh. there. One and two.
popped up left side. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Giants leave him loaded. They're still down. It's two zip. That was an opportunity to do damage. He popped it up instead. Frustrating at bat. He'll be thinking about that one for a while. Back here in San Francisco, here's Jack Peterson. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Swing it a foul straight back. Strikes he goes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Peterson wow. in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Just Ball off the outside, outside edge. Two and oh. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Off ball. the mark there. And that's ball three. three and oh. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. That yeah. catches the zone for a strike. And it's three and one. Next offering is foul back. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And he deals. Good plate Ball. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. McCarthy batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And now the lefty hey. comes up empty. That's strike two. No balls, two strikes. Missed ball, inside with the curb. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. And That's another ball. ball. Man at first one away. Off ball. the mark there. Counts full three and two. Counts full. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in there. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now it's going to be Blaze Alexander. Two on, one out. And oh. that's off the inside edge. Ball two. two. Out. 
Swings through that one. Two and one's the count. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That's the ball. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. And that one ripped into right. And that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. One run is in. Now a relay to the plate. In there no, safely. In there. And it's 4 nothing. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. He really let that ball travel on the outside part of the plate. But that's a great example that you can still drive the baseball that's away. Rip that one down the line for the double. And it's second with one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tucker Barnhart. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Around third. He will score. And the lead is up to five. Now he launches a throw over his head. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Bob Melvin hands the baseball over. Blake Snell is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Jordan Hicks. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. So the batting order turns over. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Splits the plate. That's strike one. Barnhart over at second, one down. The next no, offering miss. misses. One and one. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Tyler Rogers preparing to come on if needed. Out to short. Fitzgerald. They get the out on Marte. The center fielder, number seven, Corbin Carroll. This is Corbin Carroll, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. There it was. Oh, 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 here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. Man on second, two down. Ball. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Three. Outside corner for a strike. Runner at second, two down. And that nope. just Ball. misses. Good spot there, but didn't two, get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Hard ground ball base now. Barnhart coming home. He scores, and it's now a six-run lead. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Runner at first with two away. And next is the Diamondbacks DH. Lourdes Goriel Jr. Yeah. That clips a corner. Thanks. 
with a move to first. And he dives back in safely. Right-hander kicks deals. Now this is in the air down the line. Solaire gets under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So four runs on four hits. No errors, and a runner left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Diamondback six, and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park. Bottom four. Time. Michael Conforto will climb in. Michael Conforto. Gallant back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Giants just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The wind of the pitch. That one, one misses, two. and it's one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Way two inside, two. gets out of the way. Next no, pitch is outside. We got a full count. Outside, ball and four. that Runner is ball four. Base. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base really runners, good. but his time. command in this one just the seems off reason. out there. A lot more walks oh, than he's used to giving up. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. He's over one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. 0 oh and 1. Rudder at first with no outs here. In there at the knees. 0 oh and 2. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very now dangerous batting. to these hitters. Catcher. Seven punch outs oh. already. So this lineup oh, hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Murphy yeah. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And the 2 Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man at first, Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. One for one with a single so far. And a good eye there. Conforto, the runner at first with two gone. And that's down and away. That Ball. one misses, and it's 3-0. 3-0. Oh. Oh. There's a strike. Oh. 
pop foul out of play off to the right. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. At the belt and fires. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One left for San Francisco. They still find themselves down. Six zip. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Camilo Doval. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. The first One baseman. for two. Christian Walker. And a pitch. That misses the, the zone. And that's ball one. Wow. Well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say their chase rate, or swings at pitches outside the zone, is under 25%. And I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. And a 1-1. 2-1. One, one. Just no, missed. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting Three, good one. pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. And he walked That's him. Ball four. Take your base. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not Lead easy off laying line, off man. pitches that just missed the, the zone field. like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. That's the ball. One and oh. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The D-backs up big in this one. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just that missed. missed. The 2-1. And a foul ball. Two two now. Hey. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Peterson hey. in the box again takes a strike. Double play ball to second. Flips for one. That. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondback six and the Giants nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the DH, Austin Slater. The right-hander back to work. Going All right, along. Well, these Giants looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Here's the 0-2. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. 
That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And foul ball. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Swings over the top of that one. 0 oh 2. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 oh 2. Outside. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. Kicks and fires. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Two two now. Swings and misses. Now only one out remaining. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Wait, in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Well, they've made him really work in this one. His 100th pitch coming in just the fifth inning. And the righty deals. That's outside. No, that's out. And the count, two balls and a strike on Lamont Wade Jr. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. The Giants down to their final strike. Got him. And that is the ball game. Good win by six runs. Always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals. You want to keep that momentum going. Knowing the offense can score at will, bring it into the next one and get another W. 6-0 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.